A 26-year-old man is pulled over for having the wrong license plate on his car. Things quickly escalate. Hey, stay in the car! Stay in the car! Do you have a driver's license? Do you speak English? Can I see your license? <laughs> what do you want? Do you have a driver's license? Yeah, it's, it's, Where is it at? It's in the car. Get it for me. Patrick Leoya, an immigrant from Africa, talks to someone in the passenger seat. He does not produce his license. Instead, he closes the door and walks away. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. Put your hands right. Leoya starts running. The Grand Rapids, Michigan officer radios for help. 1915. You got one running. Short plow. The officer tackles him. Okay. Damn. Stop! Leoya gets back on his feet, grabbing for the taser. You can hear it firing. They struggle for control of the weapon. Let go of the taser! Drop the taser! And it's at this point in the tape you can see the officer reach for his firearm. He shoots Leoya in the back of the head, killing him. You see a police officer escalate a minor traffic stop into a deadly execution. The killing is leading to a chorus of outrage in Grand Rapids. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! And on the airways, some experts say they are troubled at what the video shows. He pulls his taser, which is, which is problematic because he's so close, uh, the individual is able to grab his arm. There's a lot of questions. Were there other things the officer should have done? It's a tragic death for a traffic stop. We spoke to retired L.A. Police Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey. We see the officer draw his weapon, and that's the last thing that you want to do when you're on the ground grappling with someone because you could have an accidental discharge. You could uh, wind up with a situation where now you've shot someone in the head. The police department says what happened is a tragedy and the investigation is ongoing, adding they will not identify the officer unless he is charged.